This is Russianox Productions, and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to import sound and music, anything you want, audio, let's just say, into Adobe After Effects. Now, this works in any version of After Effects, varying from uh, Adobe After Effects CS4, anything really. For today, we're going to be using Adobe After Effects CC 2014, which is the version that I have. And uh, upon a request, I'm going to be showing you how to bring that audio footage and, and combine it with any video footage together and render it so the audio will be, you know, so you will hear the audio. So the way to do it, we'll get into later. But what I'm going to show you, we're going to be doing this video right here as just an example. And um, it has audio. So listen closely, guys. So there you go guys, so you've seen my time lapse that I did outside my window just for this tutorial and we're going to be bringing those two files in together and you know rendering it with audio. So let's start shall we? Open up Adobe After Effects, uh, you can create a new composition for this sake. Uh, I'm not going to, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to create a new composition as of yet because I'm going to make the composition the file of my video size. So drag these two items into your project um, project area then the video or any video that you have if you would like to set the composition size composition time to that video you just simply drag it to this little thing right here and it creates a composition for you now you can go to composition settings you know mess around with the settings I prefer 1280 by 720 since that's the YouTube ratio um, there you go what you need to do next is import your audio file and you can simply to do this by dragging it into the field that you're going to be working in and as you can see there's an audio file uh, you know audio levels you don't want to mess with any of these things um, at all for now and uh, you know for this tutorial you don't want to mess with them at all uh, maybe if you want to do some cool effect in the audio maybe you want to mess around with them but not for this tutorial so what I'm going to show you is a couple of tricks to see your video and hear your audio in the project area before you even render it. So right now as you can see if I press if I press uh, play, you're not going to hear any audio, right? You just you're just looking at the video, no audio. So a lot of you are wondering why is that? Now that's simply because you're not in RAM preview mode. Uh, you, when you're just doing this, you're just simply looking at the video and After Effects doesn't involve the audio in this preview. So what you want to do is click on this button right here and you will hear uh, the audio and you're gonna see the video so let's do it you're gonna click on the volume and there you go there's audio you hear the audio and everything in the project field that you are working in so that's a good good thing to know uh, for any of you guys who are confused on how to hear your audio and you know where to keyframe it and everything. For the sake of this tutorial, I know I've been saying that a lot, I'm just gonna start it somewhere in the middle when you know when the beat drops as they call it. Like this. Let's just do it here. Let's, I don't know, do it here. Screw it, why not? <laughs> Sorry guys that I'm putting you through this, but you know, perfect, perfect. So I want to render this piece right here, let's just say. So what I need to do next, uh, now pay attention to this, what I need to do next is I need to add it to render queue. You know, typical of any file you want to add to any uh, render queue just added there then you go to output module now for After Effects CS4, CS5 and CS6 I believe that you have to manually check this option where it says audio output auto um, but for CS, CC 2014 you have to do audio output on I don't trust the auto version so I put the on option um, then I click OK then if you guys refer back to my other tutorial uh, these settings are set up to the best render settings and I'm just gonna press caps lock which is located on the in the middle left of your keyboard on your computer and then you're just gonna simply render this video now remember to output it to uh, to any you know output location you want we're pretty much where you want to save it and then you click render okay so it should be rendering this video pretty fast and 
that's pretty much it guys that's the whole tutorial and you will be able to hear audio in your video so if that you know does not work then uh, let me know but I'm pretty sure that it should work for all of you guys uh, who are having this problem sorry that I didn't put, put out any more tutorials but here you go here's one and I'm gonna be staying more active on the YouTube community channel so guys uh, subscribe if this helped and uh, hope this works uh, let me know if you have any other questions and this has been Russian Alex Productions out